Saturday we are doing a weekend in my life um, for this vlog which I think is gonna be so fun because I've actually never done one of those before I don't think I don't know um, I am solo this weekend though so I'm really I'm honestly not doing anything fun the plan is to have a very productive weekend because I was out of town last weekend and my house is dirty and there's just a lot of things I need to get done because I'm gonna be out of town the next two weekends so I'm having anxiety <laughs> If I'm being completely honest, I, sorry, Taylor Swift is coming on. It's all I listen to nowadays. But if I'm being completely honest, my anxiety is through the roof this morning. I don't know why or like what it, well, actually, I feel like I do know why. I have been on my phone literally since last night. I like went to bed. Sorry, hold on. I got to put on some sunglasses. Need to get a new pair of sunglasses like a new nice pair of these ray-bans i've had since college and they are sad and scratched and not doing well um but yeah like i was saying is i have been on my phone literally since last night i had just like a crummy day at work yesterday i was just very irritable just feeling super irritable i think it's it's like gonna be my time of the month soon patients were like calling me asking me for antibiotics for respiratory symptoms and it was just like it was a lot yesterday i, I need to forget about it i had i did a pap smear on thursday and then it came back and it, it came back as saying that they weren't performing it because it leaked so and the patient's pap smear, like the uterus was retroverted, so it was kind of a difficult pap smear, and I feel bad because, anyway, that's just like a whole other thing, and I've been thinking about that this morning. So, I've been on my phone, like trying to zone out, and like I've been on TikTok, and TikTok isn't working right, right now, so that's bothering me. I'm just like in a very easily irritable this morning. So, I actually use, I have anxiety. Um, <laughs> you can't tell I have anxiety. Um, and I go through periods of, of, in my life where my anxiety is worse than others. And I wouldn't say I'm in a period right now where it is, but I'm just like today I am in a period of really bad anxiety. So I actually use this product it's called Copacalm from Ortho Molecular. Um, I just, I get it from my work, <laughs> honestly. And it's got like L-theanine. It's all natural, which I like. I'm personally not <laughs> practices medicine, but it's not a medicine person. <laughs> I'm not a medicine person for myself. Um, I don't want to be on anything currently for my anxiety. I just am not at that point. Um, so I'm just gonna take a few of those. I'm headed to a Pilates class this morning. And I'm just honestly trying to zone out because I have this beautiful weekend ahead of me. It is absolutely stunning outside. I haven't had, I, I am an introvert, so like having a weekend alone, for me, like I know a lot of people probably aren't like excited about that, but for me it's kind of exciting because I, love being alone <laughs> that sounds so bad but and I love my husband so much and I I really do miss him um but sometimes it's nice like just to be me so yes the plan is for this weekend like all the stuff that I want to get done um we I'm going to Pilates class and then afterwards I'm gonna go grab like a Starbucks or something fun to kind of cheer me up a non-caffeinated or like a matcha or something because I don't think I can handle the caffeine with my anxiety today um so we're gonna do that I'm going to take my car to the car wash because I need to clean it and vacuum it out it's just gross and then I need to go to the mall this evening because I'm going to return that free people dress that you guys saw on TikTok it's too big um it's too big it's not my color and I don't love it. So I actually already exchanged it exchanged it for like a purpley pink and an extra small instead of a small. And I just need to take back this other one. Um, but I also need to take back some shorts to Lululemon. So I'm like, I might as well just go to the mall. 
um, and do that. And I kind of want to like go bathing suit shopping because I'm going um, to the beach for the 4th of July. I always go to the beach for the 4th of July. So I kind of want some new bathing suits for that because yeah, <laughs> just because I want to. So maybe we're going to go to the mall later. I desperately need to go through my closet and like get rid of stuff. Um, my house needs like a little deep cleaning. I need to do some budgeting. I need to film three. Um, I was talking about this in my last vlog, vlog that I posted. I need to film three um, sponsorships for TikTok and I have started working on all of them but I need to wrap them up and send them in by Sunday so that they are done because I'm like I said I'm gonna be out of town next week next weekend and so I just need to get all that stuff done that's like weighing on me as well so I just have a lot going on right now <laughs> I think I desperately need to get some energy out with this Pilates class but anyway this is the longest vlog intro ever but let's have a weekend thank you guys for being here I love you subscribe if you're new um and I didn't introduce myself I never introduced myself so I'm April I'm a nurse practitioner primary care and this is a weekend in my life solo productive weekend in my life solo so yeah thanks for being here let's have a few days oh my gosh you guys my Pilates class was so hard but somebody's trying to get into this parking spot behind me I need to rent a Sephora but I just forgot my purse in the car so let's go to Sephora I need some first aid beauty stuff so I need my moisturizer essentially Okay, I got some stuff from Sephora. Please excuse the air conditioning, it's too hot to not have it running. Uh, but I got some stuff from Sephora, so I'll show you guys what I got there. And then I also got a little acai bowl from Clean Juice. I really like their acai bowls, and it sounded so good. It's really hot outside today. Oh, boy, it is so hot. That Pilates class kicked my butt. I've never had that instructor before, but I really liked her. I've told, told you guys a million times that sometimes I feel like the Pilates doesn't challenge me enough. But this class was good. And I feel like I've been saying that more often, so. I got the Nutty Bowl from Clean Juice. I think Clean Juice is a, um, what's it called? A chain. or vegan where I literally only ate bananas and specifically like banana ice cream I would eat it so much because I was training for a triathlon so it was really not bulking bulking is not the right word but I was eating a lot of carbs and that was like an easy way for me to do it and ever since then like that summer I have a hard time with things that taste super banana -y. okay I just scarfed that down because it was gonna melt so I just finished it. It was really good. I left a few bananas, but from Sephora. The Sephora haul, I did not get much. I just got three things. I had more. And then I was like, do I really need this? No, because I'm working with a brand for makeup that just sent me makeup that I love. And I was like, why would I buy more? And I've been looking at this Rare Beauty. I don't know if you can tell that it's on my lips, so you might be able to. I've been looking at Rare Beauty's matte like lip tint every time I go into Sephora they're so good they're like velvety and I really like them but I'm just not a lipstick person and I, I'm like when am I gonna wear this like I will never wear it anyway like I am a chapstick queen I always wear chapstick I never wear I like sometimes wear lip gloss like I have a summer Fridays lip gloss that I like but if it's not in my car I will not wear it like I'm not gonna put it on in the morning before I go to work because I drink my coffee anyway, but I still don't care, but I couldn't justify it. So I have been wanting to try a day for a while, like Amber Filler Ups brand, but I didn't want to commit and buy the big stuff. So I'm going on vacation next week. So I just bought um, a little shampoo and conditioner to try. I thought that would be good because like Airbnb and hotel, like um, hair stuff is just not good. And then you guys, this is my OG, like, I cannot tell you how many bottles of this I have bought. It is my absolute favorite, 
face moisturizer. You could probably use it on other places. Actually, when I talked about it one time on TikTok, a girl was like, wait, I've been putting this on my hands and you can put it on your hands too, but I put it on my face. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to like, let's see, ultra repair cream, intense hydration, skin protectant, colloidal oatmeal. I think you can use it anywhere. Temporarily, temporarily help relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions. I literally, I use this on my face every single day, twice a day. It's my absolute favorite moisturizer. It's so good. It's like thick, but it's not oily and it's not too watery. Like I don't like when moisturizers are too watery. For me, it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Um, I like a glow. So that's all I got from Sephora. I was thinking I was gonna go to the car wash and I can go through the car wash, but I don't, I really don't wanna clean out my car right now if I'm being completely honest. It's hot. I think we're just gonna go home, spend some time with the boys and then finish filming my stuff and then go to the mall. It's already 1.30, so I don't know. We'll see what we get up to. Oh my God, you guys, it is so hot. I am wearing a top, but it's like four o'clock. I have got to go now. I have procrastinated it long enough. Okay, so plan. I'm gonna stop by Starbucks because I have a gift card that I need to use. So, and I want to get a matcha. I'm like hoping they've had a matcha, have a matcha, because the last couple of times that I have gone, they have not had a matcha. Okay, so we're gonna stop by Starbucks on the way to the mall and then we're gonna return um, the free people dress at free people and then that way I can get my other one sent to me then I feel like there was something else oh Trader Joe's I want to go to Trader Joe's just for a little bit I was like there is another reason why I'm going downtown because um, otherwise if there wasn't I was about to say get my booty back in the house um, but anyway, we're gonna stop by Trader Joe's and just get a little bit of stuff to hold us over to next Friday. But you guys, I got these sunglasses on Amazon like a week ago, and at first I thought they were maybe too small for my face. But now, I think that they're kind of cool. I got them, there's these really, I really like the straight across, kind of like, almost like older dad vibe sunglasses. And Ray-Bans has a cute pair, but they're like 220 bucks and Honestly, I just don't want to spend that on sunglasses because it feels excessive. So I was like, let me find some on Amazon. These aren't exactly the same, but I thought that they were cute. And then when I when I got them at first, I was like, mm, IDK. They don't have matcha. Starbucks must be out of matcha everywhere because I think this it's been like two weeks that I tried to get what I got literally two weeks ago a chai not a chai sorry a matcha a grande matcha latte with one pump of chai it was so good i loved it and i haven't been able to get it since and i don't want anything else was a success returned my free people dress i tried on some stuff at aloe lululemon abercrombie didn't have anything new sorry um abercrombie didn't have anything new and i was in there i don't know maybe like a month ago or something so i don't know i'm unimpressed with abercrombie right now and i don't know i don't go through I'm like always obsessed with Abercrombie but their stuff right now is just not hitting for me so that's okay I am so thirsty I wonder is this water oh, it's got BCAAs in it I just might have to do it oh okay we done it um, there, I don't 
really feel like going to Trader Joe's right now. I'm trying to decide, like, do I need to go to Trader Joe's? Let's see, this is not like a pop in Starbucks, so I honestly doubt it. But it doesn't, it does say handcrafted tea. You probably can't see up there, and it's not scratched out. There you have it. I'm so excited. Alright guys, this is the moment. It's the only second time I've got this gotten this drink. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Gotta get the matcha from the bottom. Since I'm not very good at like getting it all. I think I'm just gonna go home. I just don't feel like going to Trader Joe's right now, you guys. Mm -hmm. The oat milk makes it like so creamy. It's very sweet though. I don't, uh, my apologies. My apologies. Um, it's very sweet and I don't know how to make it less sweet. Like if the matcha comes with syrup or what. Cause I think it could be a little less sweet but it's honestly like so good. This is mass chaos right now. Mass chaos. We're going to the park. We're at the park, which whenever I say the park, it's actually my husband's school. They just have like all of this open space and the dogs love to come and run. I have little Leroy with us who's having the time of his life and Hoosier and Camper. Like this is their absolute favorite place in the world. Um, it's so nice outside. It's 75 right now and the sun just went down. It's very vibey. Did you guys have fun? <gasps> you had so much fun, Camp. What are you doing? Where have you been? Hoji, you're gonna go swimming a little bit more than we're gonna go, okay? It's getting dark outside. <laughs> Pilates class this morning. It's 11:42. I'm taking a cardio Pilates class um, this morning. I have only ever taken one cardio Pilates class before, and it was fine. So I don't actually like I don't do a lot of cardio in general, actually, because first of all, I don't like cardio, so that's the biggest reason. I just I don't like it. The only cardio I really ever do is walking and. The reason I do that is because I have something called inappropriate tachycardia that um, it's not like a self di it is kind of a self diagnosis. I was diagnosed by this nurse practitioner that I used to work with when I worked in cardiology and basically my entire life whenever I do cardio like running anything any type of cardio my heart rate is inappropriately high so um, and it doesn't matter how in shape or like how much I've done of it. So like I trained for a triathlon once. I did the triathlon, it was a four mile run, 22 mile bike ride and a half a mile swim, I think. So, and I was very in shape and I consider myself to be a very in shape person. I work out a lot. Um, but even at that time, like when I run, my heart rate will be like 190, 200. Like it's been like 205 before. Like I'm technically like in SVT, I guess, I don't know. Um, so I really steer clear of that type of cardio. One, because I, it feels like hell, it feels so bad. And I get like, I get like bronchospasms. Not that I, it's not asthma and it's not exercise induced asthma. It's that my heart rate is so high that my body is like struggling. <laughs> so um, I steer clear of any type of exercise like that 
Um, I'll do like, uh, what's it called? Like intermittent running or not intermittent, what is it called? Training, uh, intermittent, no, what the frick is it called? Interval training. Um, where like I'll walk a little bit, run a little bit, maybe once a month, but not very often because I don't like it. Um, but I walk a ton because when I walk, I can get my heart rate up to like 140 basically, like walking, um, which I know sounds crazy. But if I'm just like leisurely walking, I can be at like a 120 or something. Any type of exercise that I do, I can get my heart rate up too high inappropriately. So that's what I have. That's kind of why I steer. It's not like, it's nothing crazy. Nothing's wrong with me. It just doesn't feel good to be at that. So I don't do it a lot. So anyway, I'm doing this cardio Pilates class. It's the second time I've ever done it. The first time it was like pretty chill. So. I mean, like, it was cardio, but it wasn't hard. So, like, I've taken spin classes before, you guys, and no lie, like, I will burn so many calories, like, 800 calories in, like, an hour spin class because my heart rate is in the 180s to 200s. Like, and that is, it's honestly dangerous for it to be that high for that long. I took a boxing class one time. My heart rate was so high. And I, I start to feel like I'm going to pass out because <laughs> my heart is working so hard. My poor little heart. So I'm going to a cardio Pilates class essentially because that's the type of cardio that my heart can tolerate. <laughs> Uploading. So I'm just switching over the laundry. I need to clean up. I just made like a little taco for lunch. Um, the dogs are like crying at me to play with them. It's hot outside. I don't know. I might go out for a second. I also like while I was editing my video, my eyes were like falling asleep. Like I really could use a nap, but I'm getting kind of stressed out because it's 3:20. I have to film my makeup routine for this brand and I have to get it done <laughs> um because I need to send him that video but I might take like I don't know I'm thinking about a little power nap the nap was hot I did have a nap but it was only like 30 minutes I did set an alarm but I set it for the wrong time so thank goodness I woke up otherwise I would probably still be asleep but we're up, we're back at it. Um, my YouTube video is almost done. I just am gonna do the thumbnail right now and it's like 80%. I use Canva for my thumbnails. Um, and then I'm showering, filming the, the like, um, filming my like summer makeup tutorial. And yeah, I'm still half asleep. Time to shower. Makeup tutorial is filmed. I don't know if I actually, maybe I did share the products with you guys, but they're so good. The brand is called OG. It's O G E E, and it's their contour collection and their concealer. I'm actually obsessed with it. Um, it's so good, and it's what I've been using on my face. Um, so here's a look at it, and they have like a highlighter, a blush, a bronzer. And then, like I said, they have a um, uh, concealer. Oh no, our fiddle leaf fig has fallen over. That is not good. I will have to pick that up. It's storming outside right now if you guys can hear it, but it is time to do the haul. This is the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. It's this shirt, it's so cute. It's from Aster, the label. I got it at Nordstrom, and I just think it's like perfect summer shirt. I'm gonna grab the rest of the stuff. This is like what I filmed in. So yeah. And I'll try everything on for you guys. I'm filming in my kitchen because the lighting is just better here. I'm not gonna try this on because it's bathing suit and I feel like I shouldn't be posting stuff I'm with me in bathing suits on the internet so I'm not going to or at least like on YouTube. I don't know. Um, this I also got from Nordstrom. It's a billabong bikini. I just think it's 
so cute i love the color i really like this color on my complexion so that's nice um i was hoping to find more bathing suits but i don't know a lot of them were just like in to me and then i got two things from aloe that are so cute you guys are gonna love them um first up is this skirt like this tennis skirt because i'm going to moab next week i was looking for more like athletic stuff and I've been wanting to get my hands on a tennis skirt and I'm green is so in right now. So this is so cute. I'll show you guys in a second. But did you like that? Who's your likes it? So it's approved. My son has approved it. And the next thing I have seen this the past couple of times I've been to the mall and I just have not been able to buy it, but I can't stop thinking about it. It's kind of expensive, but it's perfect. It is this exercise dress from Aloe it's so cute they have it in they had it in black they had it in white and then they had it in like a lighter green than this and i was tempted to get the lighter green but like i said it's expensive and i don't want i wanted to get it in like a classic color so i'm gonna try it on for you guys this is the tennis skirt it's so cute it has leggings underneath of it or sorry not leggings shorts and it's super comfortable i got it in a size small and this color is really flattering and if it wasn't so expensive i would have gotten another one because i'm not gonna work out in something like this but this is like the perfect florida summer outfit not this i mean this is very cute for summer but i would pair it with like um like denim shorts or denim pants or like the linen pants that i had on but this and just like a cute little tank top is perfect for the summer in florida because it's so hot like look how cute that is and then this is the exercise dress like come on have you ever seen a cuter exercise dress i think it's like the sweetheart neck that does it it also has shorts so my to-do list is this living room is a wreck i just pulled the laundry out always watching gossip girl in the background i am in comfy clothes now I don't know if I showed you guys these linen pants, but I was influenced by Sydney Adams to get these. They're men. They're on Amazon. I got a small. I wish I had gotten an extra small because they're just a little too big and I would like them to fit a bit tighter, but they're super affordable. They're like $35 on Amazon. Um, we love, but the makeup is giving, you guys. Okay let's tackle this stuff I'm feeling rejuvenated after my nap I feel so much better after getting some of my content filled so I was really stressed out about that so I'm feeling good making these veggie burgers for dinner I'm not going in with all of those toppings I'm literally just gonna make the veggie burger and eat it <laughs> um, because that is a little bit too much for just me but it'll be nice it makes four patties so we'll have some leftovers and I might make smaller patties it made five they got a little bit crumbly but it's whatever all right here's the final product my top of my bun broke in the toaster oven so i'm gonna eat it with one i guess <laughs> it's time to end the vlog i have checked off every single thing from my to-do list um i still have obviously more to do but like that is such uh, seth needs to fix that um, but that's like a whole nother story. But anyway, it's 10 o'clock. I just wrapped up like balancing um, my account for the first week of June. I still have to do like all of May, whatever. But I planned out my week as far as I got like my content stuff done. So then this week I just have work and editing the vlog for next weekend because I'm going to be out of town. And I really want to be super consistent on YouTube because I love YouTube. I'm very passionate about it and like that's where I want to be so anyway thank you guys so much for watching I'm going to go to bed Seth is almost home so that'll be good to see him I'll see him right before I go to bed so it kind of sucks a little bit but yeah I've had a really good weekend a mix of relaxing a mix of being very productive so thank you guys for coming along and I will see you in the next video bye guys